Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 259. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 252 to 260. Hey, in this trick, we want to see how to do data validation list based on another data validation list. Now, we saw how to do this in an earlier video. Uh, in this one, we want to though have dynamic ranges. All right, the easy way to get dynamic ranges in 2003 Excel and 2007 is to convert your uh, databases or tables or lists into um, either a list or a table. Now we have products, food, tools, health, so we want to drop down menu here and we'll select that and then we have another named range with the fruit tools health and we want this data validation drop down list to change based on what's in this cell easy to do with hard coded ranges and names as we saw in the earlier video but how do you do it with dynamic well we're going to have to convert these to tables and then they'll be dynamic in 2003 you use control L for list in 2007 you use control T for table I'll click OK then I'm going to click here and control T, click OK, and here and control T, click OK, and then here and click uh, control T, and then click OK. Now I want to select um, this cell here and do data validation. In 2003, you go to data and then validation. In 2000, and s no, this is seven. 2003, you go to the data menu, data validation, the keyboard shortcut that works in all versions, Alt DL. I'm going to say, um, what do I want here? I want list to, al I want to allow a list. And the source, I'm going to use F3, F3. Oh, I'm hitting the F3 to paste a name. Wait a second, that name, products, didn't get created. I'm going to click cancel here. I'm going to go use my keyboard shortcut for the n list of names, Control F3. Well, all it d did here was create uh, tables, and those are, those are our tables there. You can see one, two, three, four. But that table uh, name is not going to work in our data validation list. We can't use table nomenclature. So we're actually going to have to, on top of creating a table, name it. So I highlight this, and I want to name these three cells products. Control Shift F3 to name from selection. It says top row. Control Shift. Actually, you could do, watch this. We'll use Control and highlight this and this. So we've highlighted three non-contiguous ranges, and then we'll use our keyboard shortcut. Control Shift F3. Control Shift F3 is create names from selection. And the name is where? In the top row. Now let's go examine our list of names. Control F3. And sure enough, can you believe it? And uh, even though those are named and they're hard coded here, if we select tools and click edit, see how it's F13, A15, just as we would do, did in our earlier a video where we did data validation based on data validation. But because uh, these are tables. When this expands and we add new records, this will expand too. Let's try it. Let's create our data validation, Alt DL. And we're going to do list. And what do we want? We want the name product. So I'm going to hit F3. That's the keyboard shortcut for paste name. And I'm going to select products. And let's see if that works. Sure enough, tools, health. But now when I have health here, I want a drop down that says Band-Aid and toothpaste, etc. So we're going to do data validation here, Alt-DL, list. And now we need to use the indirect function, equals indirect. And then click on the cell right here. What indirect does is because this word, health, is a text string or a word, if we use just equals this cell right here, it wouldn't know what to do. But the indirect actually takes text or words and converts them to references, cell ranges. Because we have a name in memory called health that refers to a cell range, this will work. Click OK. And now we have Band-Aid. If we come over here and change this to food, then our new list should be uh, fruit, veggies, grains. If I click in this and hit tab, which is how you add a new record, to a uh, table like this, um, 
hair gel. Is that really a health? I'm going to control enter. Okay. Now let's see if we uh, do health here. If this list updates here, and sure enough, you got to be kidding. Not only do we have data validation based on data validation, but now it's dynamic. Let's see if we can add a new cat. Uh, well, that won't work because then we, we don't have that in memory. But we could add uh, more food here. So we have fruit, veggie, grains, uh, milk. We'll say organic. And then we'll go to uh, food and select this here. And sure enough, organic milk. I'm going to try it here. Tab, drill, we need uh, some nails. And sure enough, uh, then tools will uh, update, and we will see uh, nails from organic milk to nails. All right, so that's how to do data validation based on data validation and have the ranges dynamic. OK, see you next trick.